If you want to know how I extract unlimited leads from Apollo, well then this is the video for you. I'm going to show you the brand new tool that I just built that allows me and now you to extract unlimited leads from Apollo all using my new web scraper on Appify. If you've been following my channel, I built the exact same web scraper I'm using in this video over in this video here, but now I've deployed it so you guys can use it on the web. You don't have to install any kind of programs and you can get started all for free. You'll be able to extract things like the name, company, and emails right into an Excel file and then send that over to your sales teams or put in your cold email campaigns. This tool is honestly insane and it bypasses the new email security features on Apollo. So enough talk, let's get into it. So you're going to want to head on over to my Apollo Easy Scraper built exclusively on Appify right now. I'll have a link down in the description below so you can follow along with me. But if you don't know, Appify is basically a website that allows us to host and build scrapers on the internet so we don't have to run them locally on your machine. Because if you remember from my last video, the scraper that I built, you had to run on your machine. And I had a lot of people hitting me up with questions and errors that they got on their machine. So I thought I would build this online so you guys can use it without having to install any kind of code or know how to do any kind of setup. But if you want, you can read through some of the documentation here. I've made it really simple. All you have to do is create your Apollo account and then make your email list on Apollo and then operate the scraper. So let's head on over to Apollo and build our list. And before we get started, I do want to point out we are going to be using the free plan of Apollo here with the unlimited email credits. And also you can start it with my web scraper for free over on Appify. The reason why we want to build a web scraper is because we only get 120 export credits a year, but we have these 10,000 email credits per account. So what we can do is we can take these email credits and if we have a way to export them, we can then get basically 10,000 email credits per free account, which is insane. So make sure you sign up with Apollo with like a business email, basically anything other than Gmail or Yahoo it has to be like a custom URL, like your name at mybusiness.com. And from here, we're just going to want to make a brand new list using our 10,000 free email credits. You can choose from any of the filters here on the side. So for this instance, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into industry here, and then I'm just going to go with sure accounting. That's fine. So maybe I'm looking to target people in accounting for my business. You can see I have a total of 1.5 million potential leads here, which is great. But for this, I do want to preface you will only be able to extract 2,500 leads at a time with this web scraper. That's just because it's the a limit on how many pages you're allowed to see per list you have. This will make more sense later, but just keep that in mind. So we're going to want to add more filters to go from 1.5 million to something around a couple thousand. And what we can do here is we'll click on location and then I'll just enter in something like Florida, for instance, that should be good. So we brought it down from 1.5 million to 28,000. And so now let's target this a little bit further. What I like to do in a big tip if you're looking to get email specifically is come to this email status here and make sure you check on verified right here. What this will do is it'll only show you verified people with a verified email account. And you can see that brings us down another 10,000 ish people, which is super nice. And then to make this a little bit more targeted, what we'll do is I'll also go by employees here and I'll do it by people who have 11 to 20 people in their company. There's a ton of filters here you can play with and you can get really specific on the types of people you want to target. And this 1.6K list size here is perfect for what we're going to be doing. And now all we have to do is add it to a list. So we'll click on this button here to select this page, click on save. I'll make a new list. I'll call it Florida accountants, create new list, and then we'll save it to this list. And we'll just go to the next page, select all, save Florida accountants, save, same thing for the next page and the next page and the next page. But as you'll notice, we'll get to page five here and we can't click on any more pages. What are we going to do? Well, if you didn't know, Apollo saves these contacts to your saved folder here. And if we refresh the page, you'll notice our saved contacts are going in here and it will give us new contacts that we can sort through in our list. You can see we now we only have 1.5K to go through as opposed to the 1600 that we had before. So now these are all new people after we just keep refreshing the page that we're going to add to our list. And we'll do this for all of them here. And the reason why we add them all to a list is because you see this access email here, we have to click on this in order to get the email. If we add it to a list, this will do it for all of them for us. So it makes it real easy to get all the emails in the web scraper. But you can see as we add more people to the list, the number down here is going down. And if I refresh it again, and then go to the first page, you can see we have even more different people from our same list 
list that we can just go through and keep adding to our list. And you can see our total number of saved people is also going up too, as well as our total amount of people is going down. So if we just keep refreshing the page, adding more clients, and then just go until we have no more people in our lists, we'll have this entire list of 1.5K people already built out for us. And you can add as many people as you like. Just note that Apollo does kind of have like a soft limit at around a thousand leads per couple hours, which is why I recommend if you do this process, make sure you have a couple different accounts that you can make lead lists for. Just in case you do get temporarily banned on one account, you have other accounts you can make lead lists on. And this should be more than enough to get us started here. All right, great. So I just made a very quick list here. It looks like some people it didn't grab, but it basically got 419 people out of that 1.6K that we grabbed. And you can just keep doing the process like I showed you here before. And another thing I wanna mention too is it can't be over 2,500 leads in a list. For instance, I have this other list here with almost 3,000 contacts. And if I try to go past page 100 here, it won't let me. You see, it allows me to only go up to 2,500 contacts. Just keep that in mind when you're making these lists. You don't want it to be more than this. But for this example, we're gonna be using this list I made here with around 400 contacts, and this will be perfect. Now that we have our list built out in our account, what we'll do is I will copy this link here and I'll come to our Apollo Easy Scraper. If we try for free, we'll head on over to Appify to my Apollo Easy Scraper. You can log in with your Google information. You'll get a free trial to start using my scraper. From here, it's really simple and straightforward. You're gonna paste this URL that we copied from Apollo right into here into the list URL from Apollo. And then you're gonna to wanna to enter in the Apollo email account name, the Apollo email that you use to make this list. And then also enter in your Apollo password. Just click on edit here and then enter in your password and save it. This is encrypted, so I won't be able to see your password at all. It's super safe, super secure. Appify handles all of this. But then once you have your new list in here, just click on save and now we're ready to go. If you want, you can play around with the run settings here. I wouldn't go on anything less than four gigs of memory just because we are booting up an instance of Chrome in order to scrape the leads here. So it does kind of take a lot of CPU. So I would just leave this all as it is and then click on start. And there's a lot going on on the screen here, but I'll basically walk you through it. Basically, we have our Apollo Easy Scraper here with just some information about our request. If we want, we can click on less details here. We don't really need to see that, but we do want to see is our logs here. So we have the output, the long, the input, and the storage. If you want to see what you inputted, you can check this information here, which is just your encrypted password, your username, as well as the list that we just inputted. And then we have the logs here, which is going to tell us everything that's being scraped. And then we have an output section here, which will be all of our information that we just got from the web page. And if we take a look at this log section here, we can see it might be a little bit different depending on when you're seeing this and if I've been updating it, but it basically tells us when it's finding the button, when it found the button, if it's clicked, if everything's going well, and then if it's clicking to close, and then it's recording the information it gathered from that lead list. And it does it for all of them on every page until it's over. You can see it even navigates the next page, finds the contacts, and then does it for everyone on that next page as well. And from here, all you gotta do is just wait. Right now it takes around 10 minutes per 500 contacts. Depending on your settings, it can be a little bit faster or a little bit slower, but that's just kind of the rough estimate of how fast I've been seeing this work. We have to unveil the emails with the button. It's just a new security measure Paul has been taking to stop people from doing stuff like this. But of course your boy knows how to get around it. And yeah, we can see we get all the information here, like the email, the secondary email, the first name, the last name, the full name. If they have a personal LinkedIn, a company LinkedIn, company's Twitter, company's Facebook, their title, and then also any keywords, oh, their industry, their employee account, where they're located. Every Everything that you would see on a regular Apollo list page here is being recorded in our web scraper. So you'll get all the relevant information that you see in these boxes here. And like I said, from now, all we have to do is just wait for it to end. If you guys are liking this video so far, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, comment down below. It really, really does help out the channel. And also let me know what kinds of things do you want me to automate next? Right now I'm thinking about automating getting leads from Google Maps. So if you'd like to see that, make sure to let me know down in the comments below. I've been having a lot of fun making these web scrapers and I'm probably going to make some more in the future. And also if you guys want, I could even show you how I built this exact same thing on Appify. As I mentioned, it is free to get started, but you will have to pay to use it after the trial period. I mean, but if you think about it, it's a small price to pay for basically unlimited leads. You are going to have to factor in this usage price here. So when you do use it for free, you'll get $5 worth of credits to play around with. And then every time you run a web scraper through Appify, it'll 
it'll basically use up some of your usage. So you can see right now we're already on 11 cents and that's just the power it takes to boot up the server and then scrape all your leads and then put them into a sheet. But honestly, it's a small price to pay when you're literally getting hundreds, even thousands of leads all done for you automatically. And you don't have to be on this tab. You can close this page. You can do anything else. You can be on a meeting, whatever. You just make the list, pop it in the thing, click the go button, wait 20 minutes, and then you have an entire lead sheet ready to be exported. So we'll stick around and wait for this to finish. At the very end, it'll say your leads are ready. Exiting actor. That's how you know it worked. And then if we move my camera, export 419 results. So now we have all of our leads ready to go. If we head back to the top of our web scraper, we can actually click on this output tab here and we can see an entire list of all the data that we just scraped from Apollo. So you can see, like I said, we have things like Facebook, LinkedIn, the company name, company's website, the email, the secondary email, the employee size, the first name, the full name, their industry, keywords, last name, where they're located, LinkedIn, and their title all in a nice, neat, organized row ready for you to use in whatever kind of service you want, honestly. And then from here, click on export 419 results and you can pick whatever format you want for these leads. Personally, I'll go with Excel and then you can also pick what kinds of fields you want. Maybe you only want the full name and you only want the title and maybe the email. You can do that, but for the sake of this, I'm just gonna do all of them. So if you want all of them, just leave it blank and then click on download. It'll tell you where you can download it to. I'll click on on save and then we can open up our excel sheet here and now we have a list of all of our information company facebook LinkedIn, company URL, emails, employees, first names, industries, keywords, everything we need for our lead sheet. And if we come all the way to the bottom here, you'll see we have 420 because we have one row at the top for our headers. So that would be 419 leads and all in a nice, neat, organized lead sheet here for us. Look at that. Once again, I'll have a link down in the description below to where you can get started with my Apollo Easy Scraper. If you have any issues, you can either DM me on Instagram or LinkedIn, or you can throw it in the issues tab on Appify. I want to get this web scraper working as good as possible for you guys. Maybe even one day I'll take it off Appify and put it into my own service. But for now, I just thought this was the easiest way for you guys to get a hold of something like this. Also, if you want me to build a web scraper or some kind of AI automation tool for your business, make sure to book a free time with me down in the description below. I'd love to chat about whatever kind of automations you need for your business or sales teams. But if you wanna know how I built this web scraper, you can click on this video here where I show you step-by-step -step of how I build my web scrapers and how you can do the same. Disclaimer, you are gonna have to know at least a little bit of coding or or have a little bit of willingness to learn, but it's a lot of fun and a great skill to have, especially as we move into the age of AI. So I'll see you guys over there.